Okay, Kiana, you've come to see me today because I'm not sure whether it's your mum or your teacher, but somebody's just a little bit worried about how you're hearing. So I'm just going to play a little listening game with you and we'll just get some good information with it. Okay, sweetheart? Yep. Let me show you what to do. In a minute, we'll pop these over your ears, but I need to show you how to play. So every time you can hear a wee noise, turn on, just like that. I want you to quickly get one of these and pop it in there. Yep. So you do it next time it goes. Okay. Good girl. Great work. And again, one more practice. Oh, fantastic. Last practice. Perfect. You're ready to go, sweetie. Now this time, when these are on your ears, I'm going to be turning the sounds down quieter and quieter and quieter. So you need to listen really hard for me, sweetie, okay? okay. Just going to check your lovely ears, see that they're okay. Beautiful. Run this side. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we go, sweetheart. And we'll just tuck this under your hand so you're comfy. Good girl. Great work, sweetheart. Good girl. Excellent. Fantastic, darling. Good girl. You did a fantastic job. You know what? You've got absolutely beautiful ears and they're good at listening as well. You did fantastic. Well done. Kiana's test result is recorded as audiometry pass. 
Kiana was referred for audiometry screening as there were concerns regarding her hearing. Pathway 2 is the appropriate test for this request. The VHT should make a visual check of the child's ears before placement of the headphones as demonstrated. Audiometry should not be performed on children with discharging ears or where the ear or surrounding skin is inflamed or broken. These children should be referred to a GP or ear nurse.